After losing his vision in 1988 to diabetic retinopathy, Jerry Nelson credits golf for helping to get his life back on track. You're angry, you're sad, you're bargaining, you want to get your sight back, you'll do anything if only. Uh, of course, it doesn't often work like that. The more I golfed, the more I began to believe in myself again. The confidence came back and I thought, if I can golf, I can do anything. They say golf is a game of feel, and that is absolutely the truth when it comes to blind golf. You have a sense for things, but when you hit the ball, you feel everything. In 2013, with the help of fellow blind golfer Brian McLeod, Nelson founded Blind Golf Canada in an effort to grow the sport and encourage others to play. Brian and I and some other guys as well just basically decided enough is enough, let's do this. Yep. We've set some goals, we want to increase membership, we want to have some more tournaments. We know that it'll take time, but it is progressing. And it's progressing with the help of remarkable athletes like Josh Bailey, Partially paralysed on the left side of his body, Bailey is not only golfing blind, but also with one arm. Their first thought is when they see me on the golf course is, he must struggle. As soon as I hit that first drive off the first tee and how straight it is and how, how long it can be with the one arm, they're absolutely amazed. Bailey's condition is the result of a car accident he was involved in at the age of three. After trying other sports to no avail, he would find golf in 1997 and would start competing in tournaments in 2011 with his mother by his side every step of the way. She not only inspires me to, to do better, but she keeps me positive. If I go up to the tee shot and I dub it, she'll be there to say, no, don't worry, the next shot will be better. We've had to sort of take away the, the parent role because now I'm coach, your site coach, caddy, you know, we'll work together. Nicely done. Nicely done. Good hit, Josh. Beautiful. Good job. I, I love being out here competing with, with people that, that may not necessarily struggle, but out here and doing the best that they can do as well. On this day, Bailey and Nelson will be partnered up with sighted golfers for a practice round prior to the Canadian Open Blind Golf Championship. And needless to say, those golfing with them for the first time were left in awe. Just sitting there watching them and... and trying to understand how they can hit that ball without seeing it. I mean, I have a difficult time hitting it when I can see it. It's totally amazing. They walk the green and they can tell right away what the downhill, what the uphill, how much slope there is. I struggle with my game and to see someone like that golfing so well, I'm very impressed. You don't have to look far to find inspiring stories in the sport of blind golf. And while everyone has overcome their own unique challenges, they have all had to learn one simple yeah. lesson along the way. You can still play, and absolutely you can. For Go Kootenies in Creston, I'm James Farnan.